Righty. So quickly, um, might just do a um, little video for this. I'm installing the mist, trying to get this stupid thing apart. But anyway, um, I'm struggling to see. It. So what I went and done, I was just shot down to the local Mitre 10 hardware store over here. And this is a, a cheaper brand, I suppose. Um, I've just sort of, they make, um, actually there's a drill over there that Dad bought a while ago. And they make just, obviously, electrical sort of stuff, tools. So I grabbed a couple of these little cheap um, portable work lights um, because I'm struggling to see under there. And Dad's got nothing in here. Like, he's got that old halogen lamp thing there that's got a blown bulb in it. And he's got, oh, there's another lamp, you know, old school one. Oh, yeah, over here. It's got that, you know, that you put a just a normal old... Just a normal old bayonet type light bulb, and um, you know, if you bump that, the bloody thing goes out. So I thought, screw it. So I grabbed, went and grabbed a couple of these. They're only um, 10 watt um, light bulbs, but they're not going to be super bright, they're only a thousand lumens, but they're going to be better than um, the blooming my headlamp um, that I have. Like every time you put batteries in it, like it lasts for a while quite bright, and then obviously, as the voltage drops it drops the, the LEDs down in brightness and then you can't bloody see properly so I thought I'd grab a couple of these and I can stick one up from the top, one up from the bottom and give me some decent bloody light in there so hopefully I can see so I whoop these out of the box or well, I might throw the phone on the tripod and I whoop these out of the box and we'll have a bit of a look so anyway, I whoop one of these out of the box just show you roughly what's in there we have a two year warranty box is empty. So these will be 240 volt here in New Zealand. Um, they're probably in Australia too, maybe. Not 100% sure on that. So, what do we got? It'll just be the warranty sort of thing, is it? You know, to use lamp, simply plug it in. Three prong, blah, 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 blah. Is in. Okay, so it's actually a it's a product from Mitre 10, I'm guessing, which would be a rebranded of something else. That's all there is. She's blank on the other side. <laughs> just a few technical specs and whatever. So it's just cord. And oh, jeez. It's got a little stand thing. So you can sort of adjust it around, I guess. And then just a, a shortish cord. Um, it's a reasonable sort of it's got a reasonable sort of thickness flex on it, I should say, not length. It's not very long. What's that? I don't know, a meter. So you're gonna need a, a um, an extension a flex cord, whatever you want to call it. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll plug this in over here, get a bit of an idea of brightness. It's fairly bright. <laughs> so there, that's better than I've been able to see. So I grabbed a couple of those. They're 20 bucks each. Um, on special at the moment, I think they're a little bit slightly more than that normally. There was a brighter version. Um, and to be honest, it didn't actually look any bigger because I grabbed the wrong boxes thinking I was grabbing these ones, but they were the other ones. The guy was going to charge me more, and I was like, um, no, I just want the, the, um, the $20 ones. Oh, 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 yeah. So we went and had a look, and oh, yeah, they're same box with different spec on it, and yeah. I didn't realise because they're all basically in one pile, sort of one side the other, and I thought they were all the same. Anyway, but yeah. So hopefully, it should make life a bit easier to see underneath that stupid thing. And it's got a um, on-off switch on the back. That's in a plastic, rubbery, doodah case. So, that's my little look at the 10 watt portable LED work light by Jobmate. That comes from my 10 
and uh, manufactured for Mitre 10 New Zealand Limited, Auckland. Made in, you guessed it, China. <laughs> so, it's probably something else somewhere else. But, yeah. The model number is JMW L. 10 WP Made in People's Republic of China Yes Sorry, I'm familiar with your accent there cool. But anyway I'll get a couple of these plugged in and see if we can see what we're doing on this stupid car again Yeah, so i got one lamp down underneath there which I'll probably move underneath a bit more and the little stand is quite handy I can hang it up in there and point the light down there so hopefully I'll get a bit of decent view now in there but anyway I'll throw this little video up um, so they give me some content while I'm pissing around with this and see if I can find out a bit more info because this is going to be a, a probably a multi-part thing trying to fix this so but anyway so um, if you don't know this has got a water leak um, and it's coming from obviously a pipe or a frost plug or a Welsh plug or something from in behind the motor and from what I can see it's up above the turbo and it's an absolute friggin nightmare but anyway I might take a little there's a little clip that I've got um, that I've done earlier on I might it's been a minute long I might take it on the end of this video and throw it up for you righty guys cheers so anyway um, I was just saying on the end of this, the last little clip that I made a video but it's on that phone <laughs> so what it is I'm underneath here um, this is obviously the heading towards the back of the car back of the engine bay and front wheel drive diesel in this one day and as you can see there's water down here and it's coming down from up above this turbo somewhere um, if you can see that there's like a water pipe that runs along the back of the air it could be coming from there and there's Welsh plugs or frost plugs up above it um, and there's obviously other things as well so I've got to try and get all the shit out of the road so I can even see what's going on um, so my plan is at the moment anyway I'm trying to get this out of the road and then I might have to get the drive shaft for the front wheel out of the road and all that sort of crap um, just to try and get up in there that's why I went and bought these lamps because I just couldn't see I was using my headlamp but um, it's not bright enough all the time when the batteries get a little bit low on it, it drops its brightness and it's a pain in the ass. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'll put this video together now and you can see it. <laughs>